My presentation will be demoing a rotary hunting connector switch. This is a Western Electric switch, and in my case, I have built a 355A step-by-step -step office. If a customer had between two and up to 10 phone lines, they could have uh, line number one, if it was busy, uh, program to go step to line number two, line number three, and so forth, up to reaching terminal zero. The connector switch is the last two digits of a phone number. For this demonstration, I have strapped terminals 21, 22, and 23 to be hunting. So this would create a four line hunt group. If this was connected to, a, so we say, a 1A2 type of a key phone, then if it was installed uh, in the field correctly where line button number one was actually, uh, in this case, line 21, and then line button number two, line 22, and so forth, then the customer would uh, be able to publish the phone number, whatever it was, ending in 21. And if line one was busy, it would step to line two, line three, and then line four. If line four was busy, then the customer, the caller would receive er, a busy signal because all four lines are busy. I'll make a couple of test calls here at the test switch. I'm sorry, with my test set, and you'll see it hunt uh, over. I will reposition the camera and show the hunting happening in the bank. So this part of it will be uh, just the relays operating only. So that hunted over uh, three lines and then uh, it's now ringing the fourth one. I just dialed the last two digits of 2-2, two, two. so of course I chose not to land in line one or attempt to, and it's busy right now. So I'm going to dial 2-3, and it would only hunt one time. If there was up to 10 lines, in this, it would hunt all of the way across to all 10 lines. In order to do this, there's jumpers that has to be added on the bank block or at the mainframe. In my case, I ran two 100 pair of cables to the mainframe, so the hunting function is strapped at the mainframe, and I will show that later into the video. In order for this video to be demonstrated, I've busied out the lines here at the connector switch, as well as I've placed temporary straps at the mainframe. I've moved the camera to show the wipers on the bank. I dialed only a 2-2 two, two at that time instead of a 2-1. At that time, I dialed 2-4, and that was the fourth line in the hunt group, and it completed through and was ringing the phone.
In order for the hunting to be done in a step-by-step -step office, you need a connector switch that is intended to be optioned for trunk hunting, and you need a four-wire bank. In the case of an automatic electric or Stromberg trunk hunting arrangement, they used resistors between the sleeve lead and the control lead or the HS or the A lead or the C lead, depending on what they wanted to call it on that bank. In the Western Electric Office, you just have to put a strap between the sleeve and a control. And then if the sleeve lead is busy and there is a strap on the bank, because this is a four wire switch and of course a four wire bank, it'll hunt to the next terminal. I have a shelf of these trunk hunting connectors. Actually, I have two shelves. This particular shelf in the CNET world is 37756XX. For this presentation, I just used my Radio Shack alligator clips to represent the hunting straps. This is the cross-connect side of a frame block. My number three crossbar also does hunting. I do not have any lines set up I yet. I might build a hunt group in this machine in the future, but it's done at the line number translator. Please like and subscribe. I have many other videos listed on the playlist under telephone switching.